Hello, dear students. Let's see this question number 3.53 of Eredo. The question states, the field potential inside a charge ball depends only on the distance from its center as phi is equal to AR square plus B, where A and B are constant. Find the space charge distribution rho R inside the ball. So here, for the sake of simplicity, I will write uh, phi as a V that we normally uh, write for the potential. So my potential as a function of uh, r is a r square plus b and this will be solved in the spherical coordinate system so uh, this is a spherical coordinate system a uh, general point can be represented by three coordinates small r that is a distance from the origin and theta is the angle from the z axis and uh, the projection of point p on the x y plane is say this p dash and this line op dash has an angular position phi so by three coordinates r theta and phi we can uh, specify any uh, points position and these are called the spherical coordinate system uh, we have a poisson's equation poisson's equation states uh, del square v is equal to minus rho by epsilon naught del square is the laplacian operator and uh, v is the potential rho uh, obviously when we uh, make a differential equation everything that will get that will be at a point so this is a point function and at that point the charge density is a rho and epsilon naught is our favorite uh, permittivity in free space so this del square operator that is called Laplacian operator have a different uh, expression in different coordinate system so because uh, the distance given here is the small r from the center so uh, what we will use we will be using the spherical coordinate system and in spherical coordinate system del square is given by this expression so this is an operator so whatever uh, you will put the value after del square you will get uh, that value of del square so if i put it del square v so i will have to put v here i will have to put v here i will have to put v here so uh, you can see that this v is a just a function of small r v does not depend on theta and phi so obviously then del v by del theta would be zero and uh, del v by del phi will also be zero so del 2 v by del phi square will also be zero so finally what we will remain with we will remain with uh, only this thing that del square v is equal to 1 by r square del by del r r square uh, del v by del r and put the value of v here so we will get now that will be normal uh, differentiation because we are just a function of r so you can write it normal uh, derivative that is a 1 by r square and uh, d by dr into r square and d by dr from here you will just get uh, 2 a r and then uh, differentiate again so that will be uh, 2 a r cube so 1 by r square and differentiation of 2a r cube you can take 2a outside and differentiation of r cube r cube will be 3 r 3 r square so what we will get we will get this as a how much a 6a and equate it to uh, minus rho by epsilon naught so we will have rho is equal to minus 6 a uh, epsilon naught that is a charge density it is a uniform charge density uh, we can have another approach uh, this is uh, the most general approach and you will never fail by this approach but we can have another approach to solve this so given uh, v was a r square plus b and because it uh, depending only on r so you can write uh, e is equal to uh, minus dv by dr and that will be uh, minus 2 a r now remember result that we derived in one of the question of your ado that if uh, volume charge density depends only on r like uh, rho is equal to some a naught r power n n is not equal to minus one then electric field at a distance r from the origin is equal to a naught 
r power n plus 1 divided by n plus 3 epsilon naught. Compare this e with this e. So you see this, this is r power 1 and this is r power n plus 1. So it means n plus 1 is equal to 1, mean n is equal to 0. So n is 0. So charge density is equal to uh, a naught r power 0 and that is just a naught and look the result of uh, e so if i separate this thing this was this r and uh, if you compare this with this so this a naught divided by n plus uh, n plus 3 epsilon naught is actually minus 2a so in uh, i will write here a naught divided by n plus 3 epsilon naught is minus 2a and n was uh, 0 so a naught is equal to uh, minus 6a epsilon naught put back the value of a naught here uh, you will get is equal to minus 6a epsilon naught that is our answer